guys so today I actually got a request from one of my friends um, on how to make one of these uh, earring holders so because I made this one myself a while back and um, I've gotten a lot of love <laughs> from people over this thing um, and well right now it's kind of full to the gills so I figured I'd make another one and uh, at the same time I'll do a tutorial on it because uh, my friend has a few kids and they're starting to get you know a good amount of earrings so this is a pretty easy project and other than like one part where I use an exacto blade um, the rest of it is pretty you know kids friendly so long as your kids are old enough to use a hot gun without burning themselves <laughs> so a hot glue gun and uh, yeah that's like the other project I have here. This is my blackboard with projects I need to do. So uh, yeah, the jacket I'm hoping to work on today. That is a rather secret prod cosplay that I'm making for a friend. So I like might post teasers here and there on Instagram or Facebook, but I'm not allowed to say what it is or post anything that will hint too strongly over what the jacket is but I'm hoping that it's gonna come out good because I'm super excited over this project anyway let's start so the first thing that you're going to need is a picture frame now it can be any kind but I got this one from the dollar store and glue sticks and a hot glue gun of course as well as um, scissors. Those are fabric scissors to cut the mesh that you're going to need. Now this can be any kind of mesh. I just had this pretty pink uh, mesh hanging around. As well as a sharpie marker and an exacto blade. Of course, to make sure it's nice and sharp. And you're going to need a measuring tape or a ruler. I couldn't find my ruler anywhere, so I just used that. And ribbon or tape, some, something pretty to border your cardboard. So I just had a few different options. Also, these scissors are for cutting uh, anything that's not fabric. Don't use your cutting fabric for that. All right, so first step that we're gonna do is actually take the picture frame and remove the glass as well as like the paper that's inside because you don't need those for this project. So just put them aside somewhere discard the glass safely please don't end up having it shatters on you and just now we're going to start prepping the cardboard so we're gonna cut this um, so you want to leave a one inch band around it and uh, so just right now I'm just using the tape and I'm going around the um, the perimeter of it um, until I have one inch all around. everything outlined we're going to cut it out with our exacto blade you honestly should be using a cutting mat I don't own one um, and yeah so um, if you have a really good desk don't ruin it by not putting something underneath uh, you will you know scar your wood <laughs> though my desk is pretty much just plywood untreated um, if ever I end up finishing this desk, then I'm definitely going to get myself a nice you know, cutting board for this. Alright, so now that's good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hot glue the um, mesh to the cardboard. So we're going to do like one side at a time and then just try to make it as snug as you can. So, you know, like just 
tug. Don't do it too tight, obviously, because then it'll pull on glue. But try to keep it snug because obviously you want it to be able to hold the weight of your earrings. Um, and so I just prep the hot glue gun and I start from one, from one side and then I go right to the other one as well, as you can see. You're also probably noticing that I started to use a popsicle stick. A lot of the times I use my fingers, uh, but you really are risking burning yourself pretty bad. Um, if, like, you know, definitely if you can use the popsicle stick, it just helps a lot. Um, and yeah, children do not use, the, do not use your fingers to press down glue. I am living life on the edge. Uh, definitely use that, you know, a popsicle stick. Now I'm cutting off the um, excess fabric here off of, uh, off of the cardboard and after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue the edges because you don't want those sticking out so um, again that's pretty much explanatory it's just you want to make sure that everything is clean there's no edges coming out and as I go as well I'm also removing any kind of strings of glue that I'm if I'm noticing that any are sticking because that happens all the time I'm removing them as I go just to make sure that the final product is nice and clean So there you have it, the mesh is all done now. And now we're going to uh, choose a ribbon. So I wasn't sure what I wanted. I found out that I, the tape was too thin. So now I decided on that pink ribbon that I have here, which is nice and wide. I love the design on it. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto the side of my uh, cardboard, as you can see. Now I'm doing the top part and then I flip it over and I'm just, I'm doing like a thin glue, like a thin line of glue on the sides and I am uh, pushing the ribbon onto it just so that, you know, every, again, everything is nice and clean. And then once that's done, I'm doing the same to the edges and uh, if I find that the edges are too long, I'm cutting off the excess and then again, just gluing it to the side so everything is nice and clean and then just repeat again again and again until you have all four sides now I started off as if I was going to do the top uh, either I personally if I do it again I'm going to start with the top and the bottom and then do the sides I think it'll be a lot prettier but on in this case that's what I did I did the both I did the sides and then I did uh, the top and the bottom um, again just keep gluing <laughs> until you're done And once that's done, we're going to put it back into the frame and um, you know, it might be a tiny bit snug, but it, it should fit. Then you just close all the, uh, the little edges there. So that looks really nice. And now for this one, because uh, the dollar store wanted the cardboard actually hold it up, um, I thumbtacked some ribbon and I just made sure that it fit properly. I thumbtacked both sides. So that way I'll be able to hang it that way. Um, you might not need to do that depending on the frame that you have with this one i just had to use what i did so there you go that's done all right and here's the second one all done up got my sailor moon earrings and my styles and derek here Yeah, that is how you make a nearing um, organizer. What I'm probably going to do though eventually is I'm going to look at a thrift store and try to find like a big ornate picture frame like with like all sorts of awesome design and then I'm going to turn that into a nearing organizer. Um, but for now, that's what I have here. Um, and that's how you do it. So yeah, if you're looking to find a way to organize your, your
your earrings that looks pretty and that can hang on the wall with like artwork like I have here <laughs> the rest of my stuff um, try this and if you d do it um, tag me on Instagram with it I'd love to see it or on Facebook if you have me on Facebook I'd love to see it and Tara if your kids do this I want to see the project um, I'm kind of excited to see it and uh, once again if you want to see more uh, DIYs like this like I have ideas for stuff that I'm probably going to do um, from the dollar store like make my own apothecary jars and a few other things to uh, do my office so if you guys want to see more stuff um, thumbs up comments um, let me know and again follow me on my Instagram uh, Twitter Facebook um, snapchat and it's all down below All right so once again thank you for watching bye